welcome back to my channel. So today's going to be a full day of eating. That starts at seven o'clock. So I've got my peanut butter and banana toast. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that this is like my regular first breakfast, I guess. So I'm actually doing a workout this morning. If you're not in the UK, the UK is still in lockdown until the 12th of April. So I'm going to be doing home workouts still until then. And then yes, we're we'll back in the gym, can't wait. I had this before my workout and then I'll have another breakfast afterwards. So you probably would have seen some of the products that I was using. So I was using my protein peanut butter and my protein cacao nibs. I am my protein ambassador and I use a lot of their stuff in my just baking day to day. I use a lot of their products and just love it all. So yeah, couldn't probably not do a full day of eating without showing you at least something of theirs. I'll leave my ambassador link below and my code clean lean gets usually 37% off everything, often including sale. So yeah, so this is my first meal and then I might include a couple of snippets of my workout, I might not. So I've got a bit of a makeshift home gym in the front room. And we're actually kind of going through still house renovations. So we bought this house oh, nearly three years ago and we've been doing it up ourselves completely. So this part that we're sitting in now, we actually built, so this is our extension. And um, it's still not completely finished, like that table is not our, gonna be our actual table, it's just a couple of um, boards. <laughs> we just made one up. Um, but yeah, so there's still gonna be a lot of changes to the house, but the downstairs is pretty much done. There's still little things to do, like just staff things, but it's pretty much done. Um, but upstairs is, Definitely not. And I don't even think I would dare show you upstairs because it's quite embarrassing. We have no heating. Um, we've got dodgy sort of electrics. We do now have lights, but we didn't have lights for a good couple of years. And every single room is upside down. This house was built in the 60s and it pretty much still looks like the 60s upstairs. Whereas obviously downstairs now is how we want it. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this before it gets cold. And then I'll see you in the next bit. actually just say uh, I guess just quickly what my sort of nutrition goals are at the moment. I have just done a whole video on hypothalamic amenorrhea and nutrition which I'll link below and that went through exactly what I ate while gaining weight, recovering from hypothalamic amenorrhea and the kinds of foods I was eating, the amount of calories and those kind of things. I've had my period now since October but this month I was actually Oh, probably about two or three weeks late. Um, so it was kind of, I almost missed one really. And my, it, I almost felt like my next one kind of came early, if that makes sense. And once I'd realized I'd missed it, I decided to just increase my calories a bit again to make sure I was hitting around about 2,500 calories. And also I, I took a rest week last week as well. And that seems to have helped. So my period has not come back. But I decided to continue to try and eat around 2,500 calories, which is probably just above my maintenance calories. As I just feel like the second that I, re not reduced them, because I didn't really reduce them, I just went to more maintenance. My body couldn't seem to handle that, particularly when I was exercising. So what I might do is, on the days that I'm exercising, make sure I'm eating at least 2,500 calories. And then maybe on the other days, just kind of eat them out of maintenance, which for me at the moment is about 2,000 300 to 2,400 calories. So there's not much difference in it anyway. But yeah, I just thought it would make sense for me to say that that's kind of what I'm aiming for for today. So what I I don't track, but I have a really good idea from previously tracking the kind of calories. And I, I do eyeball it just to give myself a good idea to make sure I am hitting those kind of numbers. Because I now eat still similar foods, I've still got a good idea.
two little snippets of my workout that I decided to film in the end. Um, it was mainly an upper body focus session with one lower body exercise, which was the good mornings. I'm kind of doing a moderate intensity, I would say, at the moment, so I'm not trying to really push reps and weights too much, but definitely at a higher intensity than what I would have done when recovering from HA. So I'm going to ease in again a lot of this month, and then maybe obviously when I'm back in the gym, I might kind of push it again and see what happens. So now I'm going to have my second breakfast. So this I made yesterday, so I'm having overnight oats. I'll put a little video here of how I make my oats. overnight oats uh, maybe baked oats uh, my favourite just so thick love the texture so yeah I'm just going to top this with a bit of fruit <laughs> so I just filmed um, me adding all my toppings to my oats and then realised I hadn't pressed play <laughs> anyway so I basically just topped with figs blueberries and um, blackberries I was basically saying as well how I just kind of love a reduced section bag. Um, figs, which, yeah, I haven't had figs in ages. So that's amazing. And blackberries. Um, I'm the first to the reduced aisle section when I get to the supermarket. Is I just hate things going to waste. And if I have to eat it in a day or so, I will. So, yeah, so I just topped that. And also, I was also saying that I've only just recently discovered Biscoff spread on top of oats. Well, at Biscoff spread it in general. Um, I don't think I'd had any Biscoff spread up until probably a couple of weeks ago. So this is my first jar. And a handy little tip is to put a teaspoon or tablespoon or however much you want in a little glass jar and then zap it in the microwave. So that's what the microwave was before. Um, just to make it really runny and then you can kind of pour it all over your oats. So yeah, so I'm going to eat this now and then probably go for a little walk along the beach. If you see my Instagram, you'll know that I love my little beach walks. I live right by the beach, about a 10 minute walk from the beach in northeast England. I probably haven't actually said, have I? So I live in Tynemouth, which is on the coast of Newcastle. So yeah, right by the beach, which I just love. And I should also probably say that today isn't a typical day for me. My day job is working for the NHS as a speech and language therapist. So I work with children with special needs in special schools. For the predominant past year, when a lot of people have been working from home, I've been working as normal. So I've been going into special schools as normal. Not so much the first lockdown. The first lockdown, there were still children in special schools, but not as many. And they were a lot stricter on who they let in. Whereas pretty much since September, I've been in schools as normal. And there's probably been at least 50% of the kids in special schools in. So yeah, so my normal day job has continued and this week I've got a week off work, hence why I'm at home and it's been quite nice the past couple of days, just been trying to do lots of videos and editing and it does take quite a bit of time and I think that's why I've been putting off starting it because I do work nine to five every week and we're also doing the house up and that consumes a lot of my time. So weekends, evenings, I'm often in overalls, helping plastering, painting, shopping things, <laughs> um, basically whatever we have to do because we're doing it all ourselves. Um, so finding time for this kind of thing isn't the easiest. Like I say, this week is perfect week to do a bit of that with having a week off work. So yeah, I'm gonna have the oats and then go for a walk. And also just to say, if you're interested, the outfit that I had on um, during my workout is my protein. So I'm a size small in the leggings, generally speaking, and a, a small or a medium in the sports bras. This one's a small and that's fine, whereas some that are more compressive, I do need a medium in. I used to be an extra small in everything, pretty much. I was always extra small. In all my clothes, I've gone up a size. I think initially, I used to try and just fit into 
my old clothes when I first started gaining weight. I was like, oh yeah, no, I can still squeeze into this. And I couldn't, and then I just felt uncomfortable. And then in turn, that made me not feel very good about myself. So as soon as I decided, actually, no, I need to buy new clothes that are gonna fit, that are gonna be comfortable. I felt absolutely fine in them. You kind of just forget what size clothing you're wearing as soon as you put it on. I mean, why, why does it really matter what size clothing you're wearing? Nobody else cares. But I've totally been there, so I understand that it is a difficult one for a lot of people. And I'm going to do a little bit of a video on dealing with weight gain and I'll cover some of that as well in there. But just wanted to mention. So yeah, I'm going to have this or finish this and then yeah, go for a walk and then come back and do a little bit of editing probably. show you what I was going to have for lunch. So yeah, lunch is going to be a temper butter bowl type thing. So I've got some like a quinoa bulgur wheat mix. I'll actually show you the packet. It's this one from Tesco's. I ate some last night. I had it with like an halloumi salad, which was amazing. Um, and I've got some leftover. So I'm going to have that with some temper. Um, I quite like using temper instead of tofu because it's actually quite a bit higher in calories and protein. Start that while we're talking. I'm going to have like a lot of either grains, so things like quinoa or rice with my lunches and I often have like just a bit of veg and then a protein sauce. They're quite simple lunches, particularly when I'm at work. So I've actually on my Instagram feed, I posted a couple of my easy kind of lunch recipes and they are like really simple it's a case of like just chuck a load of things in one bowl and microwave in it and again like with my breakfast i tend to aim for around about 500 to 600 calories for my lunch works out well with my calories of being at least 2500 so yeah i'm gonna make this up and i'll show you what it looks like at the end <laughs> just chop this up and mix it up and also, I am going to use a Pokeball sauce for my temper. It's kind of one that I've made before when I've made a Pokeball and I've used it with like tuna and it's just quite a nice little like marinade sauce. I don't even know what's in it. Sesame oil and sugar and stuff, but it tastes really nice. Add it to pretty much all my lunches. This is a bit. So just to add, the reason why this is actually still quite healthy and it still does have quite a lot of veg in, but I'm still able to get the calories in, is through just like kind of just really increasing the portion sizes of the carbs and the protein. So with the temper, I pretty much did double the serving size or serving recommendation. And same with the quinoa um, and bulgur wheat mix. So rather than having 150 calories worth of it, I'll have 250 calories worth of it and just adding a few of the main key ing ingredients of the calories together. forgot about the dressing so I'm just gonna quickly like whip up whip up, whip up a kind of peanutty satay dressing 
So I use the powdered peanut butter from my protein, which is really handy for this, as I find it really difficult <laughs> to mix the um, just normal peanut butter. It just always takes three just to mix together. There you have the finished bowl. So it is quinoa and bulgur wheat with some peppers, avocado, tempeh and chickpeas, broccoli, red cabbage, pomegranate, radishes, and then I will spoon over the dressing afterwards. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a really simple, easy way of just getting in loads of good stuff while still actually being able to have quite a high calorie meal. So yeah, I'm just gonna tuck into this while probably catching up on a few YouTube videos. So I can't believe it's actually already four o'clock already and I have my lunch at about half one. I, normally I would probably have a snack more at like three, half three, but I think with not being my normal kind of work routine, being on my laptop and doing a few bits and yeah, anyway, time's just gone. So I've just been snacking on a few homemade bits. I always have, <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous. I always have a, like a tub of all of my little like homemade bakes and things in the fridge and just kind of generally snack on these throughout the day. So I have actually had a couple of these just while I've been making my cup of tea. And um, if, you're, if you're interested in making any of your own snacks and bakes and things, I post them all on Instagram. And I also have a blog, cleanleanbakes.com, where I sort of put up all my recipes. I'm also gonna have an orange and a My Protein Layered Bar. This is the cookies and cream one. I love the layered bars. I kind of, I love a lot of the My Protein snacks. So yeah, I tend to have the carb crushers, the protein crispies, the cookies, and the layered bars are also really, really, really good. So good. Just how chunky. Okay, I'll do a little bite. Mm-mm. mm mm mm, -mm, -mm, -mm. Addicted. Definitely recommend if you're after a really tasty good protein bar. My protein is always bringing them. So it's now about half six, so I just thought I'd make my dinner. I've just done a 30 minute stretchy yin yoga session, which was really nice, just followed a YouTube video. Um, it was actually one by a YouTuber called Millionaire Hoy. He mainly posts loads of HIIT workouts, um, but he also does some kind of yoga stretchy sessions, which I really quite like. If you kind of sometimes just want a bit of a basic sort of stretch session to almost follow rather than a full yoga flow, I really like them. Yeah, I've just done that. And actually it's those kind of things that I've continued to keep up. So they things like yoga was very much stuff that I introduced while going through HA and trying to recover as part of my relaxation. And it's something that I've, yeah, I don't think I'll ever stop, but I really see loads of benefits from it. And it's like one of those things that just because I've got my period back. It doesn't mean I'm going to kind of revert back to all the things that I was doing before or things I wasn't doing because ultimately they worked. So why not just kind of continue them? So I've continued the yoga. Um, like I said earlier, I've continued with just doing four strength sessions a week and I've got no plans to increase that to five. And I'm still not adding in any cardio at the moment either. Um, so trying to keep things as similar as possible. And similar with meals as well. So like I said, I'm trying to keep those as similar as possible in terms of amount of calories and carbs and healthy fats. Because I think obviously my body likes them, it's reacted well to them. So again, why change them? So tonight's tea is gonna be sweet potato fries and a chicken burger with salad. It's a bit of an easy tea, but <laughs> it's one I quite enjoy and you just kind of, yeah, put a few things in the oven. I use my air fryer actually for my fries and it just makes them amazing. Like kind of 
soft on the inside, but still crunchy on the outside. So I really like using the air fryer for the sweet potato fries. I do kind of recommend it, although they are a bit expensive and they take up a lot of space, so it depends on your kitchen, but I do use it quite a bit. This will probably be kind of the outro to the video in terms of seeing me, because after dinner, I usually go for a shower. And again, that's another thing I've kept. It's a really good kind of evening routine. I love getting a shower, putting even, <laughs> I was gonna say comfy clothes on, but yeah, you know, and hoodie and leggings, but yeah. I'm just having the heck chicken burgers. Um, I sometimes have veggie burgers and I sometimes have the heck chicken ones. Not really a fan of big burgers. So yeah, heck chicken burgers I'm having. Check out the bad boy. I always find, like I always put so much in my burger that like, it just collapses. <laughs> um, so I've also got some onions and mushrooms. Lumi, love Lumi. Lumi is another great way to add extra calories to a meal. So if you, yeah, if you love Lumi, then just eat lots. <laughs> and then gherkins. And then, just turn my air forever. And then obviously you go with all the sauces, ketchup, and a bit of barbecue. This one's a my protein barbecue sauce. Yum! This is another thing I probably, I would have had before HA recovery, but I would have probably not had fries and a bun. I would have convinced myself that double carbs just wasn't needed. And it really is needed. So yeah, and again, it's bread again today. So I had bread this morning and I'm having more bread. And that's okay because I love bread. And those again are things I probably just wouldn't have done. It's always little things that it's amazing to me how they are just completely normal for me now. Whereas previously they just were little almost rules that I didn't even realise I was creating. But it's only now that I'm eating the things that I am eating that I realise I had created so many rules for myself. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this. Check it out. Yum. And then I'm gonna go get a shower and everything like I mentioned before. So yeah, I'll show you some video clips of what I have for dessert and whatever else I have post dessert is <laughs> sometimes I have extra if I'm hungry, it depends how I feel. Um, and this again is probably around about five, 600 calories. I'm doing things like adding mayonnaise, that really helps add extra calories. And then my dessert again is about a similar amount. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed seeing a full day of eats and yeah, if you have enjoyed it, then let me know and I'll try and do more of them when I can. And I've really just enjoyed showing you little snippets of my day. So, And also if anyone's got any good recommendations of cameras, let me know below because I'm currently just filming on my phone and I really need to get a camera um, that's better quality. See you later.